Because I think that I think this sauce is hotter than what he thinks this sauce is. And so our heat scale might be completely different on this. All right, Jake. Everybody, Jake, he's been on the channel once now, and now he's back again. All right. Uh, I'm very excited to, ta to taste a hot sauce with you, and I could not think it'd be more fitting than to try a Hurtberry Farm sauce, because, one, they're super hot, mm -hmm. and you've got a pretty good tolerance, and I think your tolerance is higher than mine. I'm not saying that my tolerance is very high, <laughs> but I'm saying that you've, he's got a really good tolerance, but he's extremely good at explaining and articulating flavor profiles. He's a very, very good hot sauce reviewer. So in the description of this video is gonna be a link to his channel. I please, please check him out. He's, if you like hot sauce, you need to be watching Jake. Okay, so Herbray Farm, we both are very aware, are familiar with Herbray Farm mm -hmm. sauces. This is our newer sauce, our newest sauce called Typhoon. It's a Mele style sambal hot sauce. And there's a bazillion ingredients as normal. And so I always have the hardest time explaining the flavor profiles because there's so many ingredients and they always blend together into yeah. one thing. And so it's so hard to be like, oh, I pick up whatever, you know, mm -hmm. like I can never get it. So th this is this is from Herbury Farm. This is their description. Okay, introducing Typhoon. It's a limited edition Malaysian style sambal super hot sauce featuring waves of flavor packed with exotic culinary ingredients and relentless heat from Ontario grown Carolina Reapers, Thai chilies, and jalapenos. So I always try to like, like f focus in on whatever his description is because whatever his description mm. is, it's, his sauces are so intentional. Yeah. It's gonna hit exactly what he's saying. <laughs> so this is a perfect pairing for Asian inspired fare from curries to stir fries and everything in between. Uh, hold on tight, a typhoon is heading you his way. And our pairing today, I'm gonna bring it in real quick. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a, like a Japanese potato vegetable croquette. Okay, and so if he's saying it's gonna be working well on anything that's gonna be like, Asian inspired. Yeah, that's what we're going with today. But more on that later. Oh, I'll say okay. I didn't really suggest the pairings in here. Asian fare: stir fries, noodles, ramen, curries, egg dishes, grilled and roasted foods, tacos, add some marinade and dips, wings. Uh, tacos and wings vibe. It's we're, we're kind of getting there with this fried situation happening. Okay, ingredients. Water, white vinegar, fresh jalapenos. Okay, fresh jalapenos are number mm -hmm. three. That's interesting. Um, coconut aminos. Wow. Fresh garlic, sugars, fresh Thai chilies, fresh shallots, g galangal, <laughs> galangal root? I don't know. Whatever that is. Fresh Carolina Reaper chilies. And he, these are actually lower on the list than I was expecting. Uh, kosher salt, fresh lemongrass, fresh curry leaves, uh, calamanchi lime, makrut lime leaves, and <laughs> xanthan gum. Okay. Wild ingredients. Um, very exciting. Do you know what he always, though, with Hurtberry, it's always like these exotic, fine in ingredients. You're almost paying for like top of the line That's what I'm saying. Ingredients. That, you know, a lot of times it's all organic stuff and it's just like, <sighs> I love what he's doing up there. He makes some such amazing sauces. I'm just hoping that I can like be able to describe this and be like, pick flavors out and be able to do the sauce justice because it's always so hard for me. So and that's why I'm coconut, so happy you're here. Coconut sap, coconut aminos is basically coconut sap. Yep. But we got shallots in there. Coconut aminos is gonna have like a soy sauce kind of vibe. Mm -hmm. Lemongrass, curry. I'm excited for the curry leaf vibe though. I know, right? Thai chilies, they have lemongrass, curry. That is a wild smelling sauce. I get some lemongrass, it's on the back end, but I get it. Oh yeah. It kind of got like a... This is where he excels. Definitely picking, I'm picking up like that, there's a lot of like that citrusy vibe. I don't know if it's from like those limes coming out. Yeah, it makes sense. The lemon. <sighs> Dude, that lemon lime grass. and those like the lime leaves, you know, like I feel like I agree with you. I think there's like a little bit of sharpness to like the aroma that that's coming in. Like I, I keep wanting to like go back to the ingredient list. So you have lemongrass, right? The curry leaves in there, which is kind of going to give you a little bit of that Asian vibe. Then you have the lime, lime leaves in there. So the lemongrass, obviously the lime. So I imagine it's going to cut through with some of that like sour citrusy. The fresh jalapenos like right up front there. So you're gonna get that like vegetative, grassy, like jalapeno flavor, fresh garden, like that thing. And the garlic is right up there too, fresh garlic. And, and sugars, shallots. and, and shallots. shallots, and that's yeah. gonna add some more, and you got sugars adding sweetness. All right, oh, there's a spoon right to your right. Grab that. Um, all right, let's see here. All right, see, I feel like I'm gonna get surprised by the heat on this, because like, Right now, I'm thinking, I'm like, oh man, Carolina <laughs> yeah. Reapers are a little as, low as, on the as list. As there's a chunk of some sort of pepper, pepper that just pours in. plops right out. 
Um, I'm gonna say it is a it's a medium bodied sauce. You know, yeah, like there's it, chunks of a lot. There's a a chunky variety going in, but I definitely picking up peppers in there. Oh so. yeah, seeds, skins. I see all kinds of stuff going on here. Like the uh, where is it? what kind of seeds are there? Like Thai chilies. I think mm -hmm. I see Thai chili skins going on in here. Uh, the reapers. I see that. I see oh the, yeah. I see the red. I see the seeds. I see garlic. A lot happening in here. Does it smell any different? It's kind of got like that fresh. Like it's almost got like that. I'm getting a lot of lemongrass. <laughs> I am too. Like I said, when I smelled it out of the bottle, I'm hoping like. You're definitely picking up that lemongrass. Mm -hmm. The lemon limes in there. I'm hoping that the garlic and the shallots come through a little bit, though, too. And I'm hoping it. for some sweetness, too. Like, those sugars, those sugars up front, organic cane sugar. Like, I'm, I'm excited for that up front, too. But have you ever had coconut aminos before? I have. I, I have. <laughs> I have. All right. Cheers. Let's see what happens, Here we go. Mm. <clears throat> I get the garlic. I get the sugars. I get all that citrus. There's a lot of all right. So the citrus is kind of on the back side though. Agreed. So like, agreed. You, get like, you get like you get like sugar and garlic up front, and the citrus comes later. So the shallots, the shallots obviously, and like the garlic, that comes out like full throttle. But you're getting a lot of body though from the shallots and the garlic in there. Ton of body. And it's almost. So like it's smooth, but then you get those those clumps of like the garlic and the shallots in there. Mm -hmm. Adds a real nice like smoothness to it. And then like that sour citrus vibe from like the lemon, the lemongrass kind of cuts in the, the back there. But it does have a little bit of a sweetness up the sweet, front. The sweetness comes up front and then it, it, it comes in waves. You know, like I get like garlic and sweet First, mm -hmm. and then that rides rides over into like a like a lime sharp like tartness uh, citrusy thing happening, and then the whole time like the heat is slowly rising over the entire top. And th this is a hot sauce. I don't think it's over the top. There's some hurt berry sauces out there that are like Rip really ripping. ripping hot. I would say that this is not up there with some of this, and also as like some of those flavors are sending. in. It's weird to get like that, that that almost like that lemony leafy mm -hmm. flavor on the back, and I don't know if that's from those lime leaves that you're getting just a little bit, little bit of that on the back side. I completely agree. See, this is hitting exactly like Carolina Reaper mm. hits for me. It's slow. It was very, it's, very, very slow. It's slow, but it's the way that it hits. Like I feel on the top of my lip right now, which is actually kind of odd. But the burn is reaching all the way down the back of my throat, and I can feel it right here in my stomach, and I feel it every single time when I when I eat like real deal Carolina Reapers. See, yeah, I got I got a little chest. Like my mouth isn't overly. My mouth like, is my mouth is pretty fine. It's pretty mm -hmm. chilling. It's but like more, it's more like back of mm -hmm. back of the tongue, back of the throat, and just a little bit in the the chest. Yep, mine always starts in the back and then reaches its way down. Like I said, it's not over the top. It's not crazy, but and and it is a hot sauce. And I'm not getting like that salivating feeling either like super hot to always make me salivate so mm -hmm. i feel like i'm not getting that so like i think this peaks at like a hot but i wouldn't say it's like extreme it's, hot it's though either hot. can you taste the peppers very very subtle like it's more flavorful from the garlic the shallots um some of that sweetness in there and then the the sour and the lime and stuff like that I don't taste the reapers all that I much. I got just a hint of it, but it comes like it's so subtle. It comes after that lime, like it, and, and, and after all of it. And we know, we know, if you get like a very pepper forward sauce or something that uses a lot, those reapers present that floralness that right up front, <laughs> right up front. So it's, and I don't know what kind of savage likes the floralness. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> all right, let's try it on these, these potato, potato croquette guys. This is, I, this is these are first for me. <laughs> Do we even know what they really are? Yeah, man. It's just going to be like, think of it as like a hash brown. It's like a veggie hash brown, man. So I'm just going to go like right over top of it. And you, you don't have to eat the whole thing. But just get a good, get a nice little bite. Do, it, do whatever you feel like on yours. My mouth is watering a little bit. It's not overly bad, though. So we'll go to the tip there. Just the tip. There we go. All right. <laughs> cheers, man. Cheers. 
Mm. It's an ancient blood. A like wonderful little little hash brown. I'm a little bit of this thing. Just like an Asian vibed, but that's a great pairing though. That is a good pairing. It is an excellent pairing. Because the like there's deep fried oil, fat, like hardiness from the potato. It's like a very it's a very dense food, very hearty food. Mm -hmm. And the sauce has got so much brightness from like the citrus and like that lemongrass, all of that. Like I don't know, I, I, there's no tomato or anything like that, or or red bell pepper or anything yeah, like yeah. that. But there's like there's some sort of vibe happening from that family that I'm getting as well. So I could see it. You know, what would probably be a really good pairing would be like a stir fry. Yeah, it would be a really good good pairing with that. Man, this is delicious. <laughs> I'm eating the whole thing. So good. Um, I was expecting a little bit hotter, but then when you said Reapers were down on the bottom, I know. I, same here. Like normally, like. The Reapers are a little bit higher, or the Super Hots are a little bit higher on the list. Mm. Okay, the heat scale. Do you have an idea where you're in heat scale? This is gonna be interesting because we just filmed a video before this. I think we learned a lot about each other's heat mm. scales, and I, I'm 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 interested to see what you're gonna say here. Okay. Because I think that I think this sauce is hotter than what he thinks this sauce is, and so our heat scale might be completely different on this. Yeah, try it again. See, and I'm and I'm. A, <laughs> Which is going to be interesting because we might be a complete flop from the last time. Who knows? We'll see. And, and we could. And the thing about that, though, is I always feel like pepper powders are hotter than peppers in sauce for some odd reason. And that's the exact opposite of what we're <laughs> the experience that were just happening. Oh, okay. So, are you, are you ready? Go ahead. Three, two, one, Three. four. See? <laughs> we flopped from the last video they were at. So, like, so, to me, this is like, this is definitely hot. So, like, if a non-chili head would dive into this sauce, they would probably think it's definitely in the higher sauce rate. Sauce if, I give, if I give this to my wife, this would be one of the hottest things that she's ever had. Like, she'd be like, uh-uh, no way. See, my, see, but that's the thing about it. Like, my wife can handle spicy. She doesn't like the super, super hot. Mm -hmm. But I feel like if I, would give, if I would give Gina this, I feel like she would be like, yep, I could probably eat that. It's tasty, it's, it's hot. I've had definitely way hotter sauces like some of the super hots that I would probably put like four, five, six range. I don't know if I've ever had a sauce that's not extract that would be like a, like an eight or a nine. Oh, I, I, I completely agree with you. Okay, so when it comes to Hurtberry, I'm agreeing with you that he has a lot of sauces that are much, much, much hotter. They're definitely much And I was much expecting better. more, especially since the label on that says very hot, right? Mm -hmm. So it says very, very well, it's hot. Super, it says super hot. So and so this is part of the super hot line, but I mean that's a that's a relative term. Mm -hmm. I do, and and I can see where the agent vibes like kick in. Mm -hmm. I, I can definitely, like I said, stir fry, definitely be good. I like how like you get that sweetness up front, and like we said with the with the shallots and that that ginger, and then that that lime citrusy vibe kind of settles back a little bit to let those other flavors come out. Notice how both of us are kind of tripping over our words right now because this is like the most hurtberry thing I've ever experienced in my life where it's <laughs> such a complex sauce that it's so hard to explain. Like I have had so many hot sauces in my life. You have yeah, said so many hot sauces yeah, in your yeah. life. And sometimes it's so easy to explain the flavor profiles that are happening in here. And these sauces are so freaking complex. And so we've gone around in circles like three or four times now talking about this freaking sauce. It's a good one. But he uses, like like we talked about too, the, the disclaimer in the beginning about using exotic flavors exactly. in his sauces. When you add, what, 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 calamansi, calamansi lime. lime. I, mean, when you, I mean, when you got the calamansi <laughs> lime in here. And you got lime leaves in it, you I know? know. <laughs> I mean, the gallangol root alone is just going to get you every time. <laughs> um, I, no, we joke. I love you over there. Very. <laughs> Um, so yes, another just wild one. Lots of flavor, lots of flavor profiles happening, or lots of lots of flavors happening in this. It's a very complex sauce. It's a delicious, delicious sauce. Everything they do is so intentional, and every sauce that Herbert makes is just like a work of art, and they're just amazing. And so another just rock and sauce from Herbert. You pay for excellent quality ingredients every time yeah. with a hurt berry sauce. Absolutely. I've never been disappointed with a hurt berry sauce. Completely either. agree with you. So, all right, so if you want to pick up the sauce, you can get it from two places. If you're in the United States, I'd recommend getting from Old Agnes or in Oregon. It's going to save you a little bit of the shipping. If you're anywhere else in the world, this is a Canadian hot sauce company, so especially in Canada or anywhere else, you want to grab it directly from hurt berry on their website. So I'll leave a link below to them and also a link to Jake, which I've already explained. You need to go check him out. He's a wonderful guy. Okay. Hope you enjoyed. See you guys on the next.
Hey, this is Brian Ames. Uh, please click the subscribe button that you see right there, and uh, you'll subscribe to my videos. Uh, from now on, I'm going to be eating a lot of peppers. It's going to, oh man, it's going to be great. Bye.